pay you. Yeah, well, uh, T-shirt and jeans wasn't going to cut it, so. <laughs> you look great. So, how do you like the job so far? Mm, it is what it is. Well, it's work, right? Yeah, new concept for me. Is that one of Josh's? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed it. Does he know? No. <laughs> no. Don't tell him. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. So where is he, anyway? Uh, he went out to run an errand. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. It's great. It's just... Hey, what's wrong? You guys having trouble in the sack? What is it with you? <sighs> no. Everything is fine. It's just we had a little disagreement. That's all. About me? No. It's no big deal. Hey, you. Riva. Hi. Hi. Um, is that my suit? <laughs> Looks good on me, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and since he swiped your suit, how about I swipe you for the rest of the day? Well, you kids talk, and I'm going to go make copies of my butt on the copy machine. Spare us, please. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to leave? <laughs> There's no reason to. <laughs> you sure you want to fight in front of the kid? Well, I didn't come here to fight, just the opposite. That's good, because, uh, actually, I wasn't 100% sure what we've been fighting about anyway. Well, that would be my fault. No, I'm not pointing any fingers at anything. I'm just saying that for me, it's better when we fight if we do... Do it about something more specific. Like me? Yes, exactly. So, uh, what have we been fighting about? I don't know. That's not really encouraging, Reba. I'm just going through something, you know, and it has nothing to do with you. If something affects you, it affects me. Not always. I mean, there are some things that I have to work out on my own. She's an independent woman, Joshua. I know! Okay? Sorry. I'm sorry if I've been making your life miserable. No, lately. really, I can handle it. I mean, I, I knew that I was signing on for a roller coaster when uh, I said I do three times. <laughs> <laughs> you must be feeling a little woozy by now. You know what? <laughs> I was going to be feeling woozy. <laughs> you said I could stay. I, there was a reason for that. And the reason is I'm going to really steal the boss away. So what do you say? Come with me. I can't. I have a business meeting. Oh. Oh. All right. Another time? Sure. Jonathan, uh, I need you to hold down the fort while I'm away at this business meeting. Take messages. Don't touch anything. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Wait up for me. So... That went well. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come with me? Oh, you're a bad, oh, you're a bad influence on me. You just heard him say I have to stay here and hold the fort down. So what are you doing? Going for employee of the month or something? I'm not going to rat you out. Come on. No, I didn't take this job to mess it up. Hey. What's wrong with you? Nothing. 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 Hey, come on, stay here. We can call no. it. Hey. Don't say it. What, that you clean up good? I won't. I thought you were going to take a cheap shot at the suit. No, that actually makes you look like you belong. Well, looks can be deceiving. And it's actually one of Joshua's. <laughs> you borrowed a suit from Josh, Mr. Trust Fund, baby? Yeah, well, what's the point of spending good money on new clothes if I don't know if this gig will last? Well, you haven't been fired yet. You must be doing okay. Whatever. Admit it. You're having fun and you're doing a good job. It's cool. Demi. Surprise. Remember that summer job I told you about? It's, uh, here at Lewis. 
Hey, we can all do lunch. Isn't it great? Hold on. Yellow. Yeah, uh, Sandy, it's Josh. Are you back at the office? Yeah, I just got here. Uh, that documentation I asked you to put together for me, I left it uh, there. Can you bring it to me here at company? Want to help me collate? Sure. Sandy, are you still there? Yeah, I'll be right down. Duty calls? Yeah, Josh needs something I've been working on. You staying? I thought I would. I want to organize my new desk. Don't worry, Sandy. I won't work her too hard. I won't be long. So, little Tammy got a job in the big city. Wow. Why didn't you say anything about it last night? I don't know. I guess I didn't think it mattered. How do you think old Sandy feels about you and I working so closely together? Sandy's not threatened by me helping you, Jonathan. He's not. No. Sandy's the kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back if you needed it. Me? <laughs> Although on second thought, I guess you already would have borrowed it. <laughs> We're not the same size. Oh, um, the manager at the Clayton Arms was looking for you earlier. Something about your bill? Yeah. What's going on? You're not paying up at the hotel? No, I, I'm just a little behind or something. It's no big deal. Is there a problem? I mean, you have all that money in your trust fund, right? Wrong. It's gone. Your trust fund's gone? Yep. All of it? How? Well, there was the new SUV. I bought Riva a convertible. I got a computer. I got a kayak. I got a mountain bike. I got a new sound system. I got a lot of really good drugs. What? Kidding. I guess you really need this job. I can't believe you went through all that money already. Yeah. It was a lot of fun spending it, but it sucks to be broke. Tell me about it. Oh, come on. Your mom's got money. So does yours. But you know, this is your chance to prove yourself. I don't need to prove myself. <laughs> then what was last night? Your homework, trying to learn the business? Yeah, well, I didn't want to come in here today and look like a complete idiot. That's it? That's it. I don't care about this stupid company. I don't care about anyone or anything else. And that includes you. I don't believe you. Why do you make everything so ugly? Why can't you ever just let it be nice or normal or good? There's no nice or normal or good. Maybe not for you. Period. Hey, that goes over here. You're wrong. About normal. But I guess that's why you like making everybody miserable, isn't it? Oh, let me guess. You're taking a psych class. I helped you last night. You want a medal or something? After what you did to me, I think I deserve one. Your point is? And I'm trying to get past it. Move on with your life? Yes. But in order to do that, we have to turn this sorry, twisted relationship of ours into something positive. Tammy, we don't have a relationship. You try to push me away, but you always pull me back in. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? I'm sure. Don't try and understand me, Tammy. I see it now. See what? You tried to break me. But you're broken, too. Amazing deduction. Give the girl her cupid doll. But not all of you. Here we go. Part of you wants nice and normal and good. You've tasted it. You are full of crap. I don't think so. And that's why you put everything down, like last night. God, Tammy, you keep talking about last night like it was the second coming. It's just a good example. Of what? Of how hard it is for you to be the big, tough guy. And it's killing you. Make a bet.
You sure you still want to work here this summer? I'm not scared of you anymore. Be careful, Tammy. Playing with fire. You might get burned. Oh! What was that for? That's how you put out a fire. Everything okay here? Well, Jonathan's all wet, but what else is there? <laughs> Well, Sandy, I guess I really bring out the beast, and you're a woman. What did he do to you? Opened his mouth. Maybe you should rethink the job. Not on your life. I can't think of any place I'd rather be. Mm -hmm. 